A gente só quer entender o que, que aconteceu. Então não era isso aí que This is someone with a very rare birth defect. It's called microcephaly, and it literally translates to having a small head. As you can tell, the top part of the skull in this individual is significantly smaller and disproportionate to the rest of the head. And as a result, the person will also have a smaller brain. So how does this happen? One of the most common ways that something like this can occur is from an infection during pregnancy. There are several different viruses that can potentially cause this. This includes things like the cytomegalovirus, rubella, and even the Zika virus. Also, a parasite known as toxoplasmosis can actually do this too. If the fetus is exposed to any of these infectious processes, they can develop this microcephalic condition. This can also happen from several different genetic conditions, one of which is called Edwards syndrome. It's when an individual has three copies of chromosome 18. In addition to several other things, this can be one of the things that they have. And if a person does develop microcephaly, then it can impact their cognitive development. It's always important to be mindful of these things during pregnancy. That's why it's absolutely essential to always speak to your primary care physician and your OBGYN for prenatal care. Because certain infections during pregnancy could be hazardous to fetal health.